Did you say Jack McBain? Yeah, you know him. He's rescuing Sam? Look, McBain, make sure Ronnie doesn't hurt Sam. And this all happened at the Haunted Star. I'm sure that Jason's there by now. I just didn't know if you were gonna be able to get the shot off because he was all over me. I'm sure you're okay. I'm just gonna kill my baby. Dispatch didn't respond to the call. Well, last I heard, you were in lockup. Let's just pray Johnny Bay knows what he's doing. He's a former FBI, right? Yeah. Well, that on top of Jason, I'm sure Sam's gonna be fine. You can go check on him. I'll be fine. No, are you kidding me? I'm not gonna leave you alone. Well, call my dad. Don't bother. I'm here. Hi. Hi. That's all I get. That's it. I'm going crazy. I'm oh, sorry. Oh. Shot right here? Is that oh, it? No, it's just a grease. It's fine. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you, baby. I just, I keep playing it over in my head, and we would be dead right now if you hadn't don't think shot him. That. I can't help it. I will never be able to thank you enough. Never. Ronnie has been the one who's been beating up Abby's friends the whole time. I'm just so glad you weren't hurt. Yeah, I know. Me too. I'm gonna call this in. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I mean, now I will be. And baby's okay too, in case you're wondering. Didn't I tell you? Stay away from that rabbit dog. And didn't I tell you not to let him know that you were on to it? Dad, don't be mad. I'm not mad. I'm relieved. I'm proud. You what? Know, handled yourself like a real Spencer, you did. Just don't make a habit of it, right? Dad, I get it. All I managed to do was get myself kidnapped and... Dante and this other cop, John McBain, get the credit for the save. Oh, there's someone else we should thank. I'd still be in lockup right now if it wasn't for the It's good news, isn't it? It's really good. I just wanted to give him a little space, you know, private. Ronnie shut Lulu. I mean, we didn't know how bad she was hurt. Dante took her to the hospital. Jason, he had us handcuffed, and, and our legs were tied, and gagged and I was able to get Lulu out and I wasn't able to get myself out. I couldn't get myself free. Okay, we can talk about this later. No, Jason, Ronnie had a gun. It, it was jammed into my side. He was going to kill both of us. Who, you and McBain? No. Jason, me and the baby. I could feel his hand. It was shaking and his fist was just about to squeeze and I thought he was going to kill me. I, I didn't know what to do, so I, I faked a fainting spell because Ronnie was basically using me as a shield, and I went down and I heard a shot, and John killed him. He killed him. The police are on their way. You took a shot when my, my wife was in a lot of fire? What the hell is wrong with you? I get that you're freaked out. Just, just to... answer me. It was a calculated risk. And if you missed? I don't miss. If you're such a great shot, why not drop to Mexico before you even got a gun on Sam? Why only take the shot when my wife was in the Jason, way? Jason, stop! He saved my life. Our lives. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't the one who was shot. Yeah, but you were running back years. I mean, this can't be easy for you. Look, it makes me sick, man. I looked up to the guy, I trusted him, and it turns out I don't know him at all. Well, thank God Padilla knew you. Yeah, like I said, if it wasn't for her, I'd still be in this cell. And I'd have lost my only daughter. Ronnie and I were staying at the same hotel. You, you went to a motel? Yeah, she's in the Hudson Street Motel. It's convenient and close to the office. I mean, I don't, I don't know. 
Like Ronnie was there and he has Lulu. How'd you get out to Domestico? I thought you were investigating Sonny. What can I say? I'm good at multitasking. Did you call him? No. I'm at the motel too. You're staying in the same place? Well, not together. Obviously, Jason. I literally came around the corner and McVeigh he was just standing there. Yeah, you're, you're getting pretty good at that. Being there? Sam can't walk five feet without you in her face. Hey, it was a coincidence. Sam, come on, you know better than that. I'm a way to get to Sunny. You're a way to get to me. Uh, you're getting paranoid, man. I had no way to know that Sam be checking in the hotel. I've been staying there for weeks. If I hadn't run into him, then Lulu and I could be dead right now. I mean, we probably would be, and Ronnie would be walking no, away. Nobody from hurts me. you and gets away with it. Hey. Officer Padilla, you must be Lieutenant McVeigh. I am, yeah. I guess we should start from the top. Yeah, well, we're doing that. Miss Morgan needs a ride to the hospital. She and the baby should be checked out. No, really. I think we're going to be fine. Let a doctor decide that. Or it's better to be safe. the only one lucky to be here. Ronnie also tried to kill Dante, too. He did? Yeah, I was getting too close to the for attacks, and uh, he told me he took the shot at me that night at the hospital bed. Is that the hit Corinthos took? Did you tell him? I found out two seconds ago. Well, you better do it. It takes about two seconds to start a mob war. This information could avoid one. Looks like I've been reinstated. The station? Yeah. Two cars have been dispatched to the Honda Star responding to a hostage situation. One dead. Sam? No, not Sam. Ronnie. Let's right. go. Pointed the gun at her side and threatened to kill Miss Morgan and the baby. At that point, I took the shot. Anything to add? No. The commissioner will want you to stop by the station and make a formal statement. But for now, excellent job, Lieutenant. Okay, we have a lot of paperwork to get to. Sam, are you okay? Did Jason find you? Yeah, I'm okay. fine, and yes, Jason found me. What about Ronnie? He's dead. Oh my God, that, that must have been terrifying. I'm glad you're okay. Yes, it was terrifying and fine, and I just, I needed to come here to get my vitals checked. I need to make sure everything's okay with the baby. I'm sorry, there was another nurse in the air. No, I didn't. It's okay, let me, I'll do it for you. So, what about Ronnie? I mean, what, was it Jason? No, it wasn't Jason. John McVeigh? Dante said he left you with him. Yeah, John McVeigh killed Ronnie and saved my life. If it weren't for him, I probably would not be here right now. I'm, I'm glad everything worked out. And, and another thing, just so you know, you don't have to bother running to Jason about this. He already knows. You disappeared on me. Yeah. His family. It's kind of claustrophobic in the cubicle. Kind of lonely out here in the waiting area. Oh. With all this going on now, it's Oddly entertaining. You know you don't have to hide your feelings from me, Slim. If you guys say sorry or thank you one more time, I... Well, how could I not? A lot of this is my fault. What? It was your fault that Ronnie turned out to be a dirtbag like no, you No, it's my fault that Eddie was a suspect. And I can't believe that I basically insinuated you were the one who deleted the photos. Behind this 2020, baby. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you said in motion. You said it right. Well, it wouldn't have mattered if you hadn't let Dante out. Yeah, apparently I can be uh, pretty convincing. Actually, it had nothing to do with you. Everything to do with Lulu. What? Well, Dante said that you were uh, the first one to suspect Ronnie. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know. It was something that I saw between you and your husband. I, don't know. I just felt like he wasn't guilty. Well, you took a very big chance going after Domestico. 
especially after the way that he framed Eddie. I decided to take a chance too. As nice as this moment is that you two are having right now, I would still like to hear you say that you let me out of lockup because you know I wouldn't assault a woman ever. Mm, um, yeah. This is supposed to be all about you. Yeah. yeah. You just noticed that. <laughs> Look, I know you said no more, but thank you again, really. Where you been? Not even close. I didn't come running to Jason about anything. He asked me a question and I gave him an answer. I know he told you what's going on between us. And I can't imagine what that's been like for you. But it's traumatic enough going through a rape and finding out that Frank was... See, th this is exactly what I'm talking about. My own mother doesn't even know any of this stuff. And the fact that you do... What are you supposed to say? Jason needs someone to talk to. He was upset. <laughs> exactly. He was upset because I supposedly confided in John McBain. But somehow, he's allowed to confide in you. Well, that's okay. okay. Oh, right. Friends. I don't know what you're accusing me of, but let me be perfectly clear. I have no intention of getting in between you and Jason. If anything, I've been on your side. I don't need you fighting my battles. No, what you need is to talk to your husband. We're gonna get through this. I know you will. By the way, you and your baby are perfectly fine. Thank you. All right, Sam. 